Hey, it's Mike. It's been a while since I did a video about the Segway GT2. I'm out here on a nice little ride after running some quick little errands. And I just want to showcase my helmet so far just for casual rides where I don't really go very fast. And that's just because this has built-in lights and I love that about it. You can set it blinking, etc. It charges via USB-C. Anyways, I like this a lot. Check out my link. So the Jet Segway team has finally released the final or the newest version of the firmware open for everybody to go ahead and download and update their Segway GT. Now it adds a couple of very important functions. One of the main ones that, that people ask for is a change in the horn. So if I hold down the horn, you see it's pretty loud now. If you hold it down, it'll keep ringing until you let go of it. So that is a very welcome addition. The other major thing is, as you can see, there's now this little power band thing over here. So let you know roughly how much power that you are pulling on onto the throttle and also let you know with regards to like, I believe it was regen capability. So now they added regen. So when you set up the regen, there's two different settings. There's a weak and a strong. I wish there was a middle ground. I wish it was a little bit more adjustable. But the idea is that when you let go of the throttle, it will then slowly start to brake and regenerate the power from the wheels as you are braking back into the motor, back into the battery. This is very similar to what you get in effect in terms of a lot of electric cars where you can do single throttle and actually just single pedal driving because when you let go of the throttle, the unit will actually break. Now the strong effect I find is a little bit too strong for me. Weak effect is a little bit too weak for me. I wish it was a little bit of a middle ground, but hey, that's just me. I, for, I weigh 177 pounds and I ride in mostly flat areas. So I don't know how that works out well for you. It depends on where you live. You might be able to find a happy choice between the two of them. For me, I wish it was a little bit more adjustable. I wish there was actually a third choice or maybe more. But other than that, there were maybe some other small little bug fixes. I noticed that there were a little bit change in the app design, and I like that. One thing that throws a lot of people off guard is that when they're getting a new Segway, one of the options in the app is actually to turn off zero throttle, zero movement start or something like that. So basically the idea is that you can turn it off such that you actually have to kickstart it to get it going. I think that's ridiculous for a scooter this size to have that option as a prominent feature that you might click by accident. I think it's one of those things that it should be hidden a little bit more, but I understand for safety reasons, some people might want that. But other than that, so far, GT2 has been working very nicely. I have had an issue with this right here and I did a little video about how I fixed that. And that just could be just the electrical contacts aren't that great on my unit. So I purchased another one. I'm still waiting for it to arrive. I think it's back ordered for some reason, even though it said it was in stock. But I got another one of these. This is one of the main failing points, at least for me. This is, of course, my second GT2. But on the left side, no problems whatsoever. And of course, the horn change is, is a nice addition. I wish they were able to produce a different sound or frequency, allow you to customize it like they do in terms of the lighting effects, but that hasn't been the case. But yeah, so far, so good. One other thing that some people might want to do is change the coils so that they don't bottom out. This does bottom out. I do weigh 170 some, 77 or 78 pounds right now. And uh, yeah, I definitely bottom out. Doesn't matter what I adjust on here. I have to agree that I feel like Segway should provide like a simple fix for this, but they haven't. So you can probably go through a party for that. Other than that, I think it's my most fun to ride electric ride that I have out of all the ones that I have right now so far, but we'll see if that remains to be the same. Okay, that's it for this short video. Let me know if you have any questions.